Hola. In this video, we are going to set up a free tier instance of Ubuntu. Then we're going to configure Apache on it. Then we're going to open the EC2 firewall to enable us to connect to it from the internet. So the first thing I'm going to do here is launch a new instance. I'm going to scroll down and select the Ubuntu server 1604 LTS. We are using the free tier one. <clears throat> Click on review and launch. Click on launch. I already have a pair key pair set up. If you want to know how to set the key pair up and how to connect via PuTTY, which we're going to do in a second, that's covered in another video. That video will be put in the About section of this one, so you can refer back to it if necessary. Click on Launch Instances. It may take a few minutes for the instance to come up. Let's just take a look at it here. It says it's pending. While that is launching, uh, we can see what the IPv4 public IP address is right here, what its DNS name is or host name is right there, as well as a private IP address. And over here, this is the security group. <clears throat> we have launch wizard-5, which is the group that controls the rules uh, to connect to this machine. So by default, EC2 only allows secure shell from anywhere inbound to the instance. So if I click on this, we should see secure shell. And this is inbound from anywhere to that instance. It looks like the instance has started. It says it's running. So I'm going to go ahead and go to PuTTY. Let me restart PuTTY here. So I already have some settings configured in PuTTY, but this is for an instance I terminated. So I'm going to click on this and load it, but I need to change the IP address here. This is an old IP address. So I'm going to highlight the new IPv4 address and copy it. Right click, copy. I'm going to paste this here. I'm going to save this. So now my Ubuntu EC2 free here goes to this IP address. And before I connect, I'm going to go ahead and label it up here in the AWS interface as the same uh, Ubuntu EC2. Well, I'm going to call this an Ubuntu Apache test, actually. So now we know which instance we are connecting to. I've only got one running, but if you have dozens of instances, it's good to label them. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Open. You should get this message the first time you connect. Select yes there. Log on as Ubuntu. This is the passphrase to the key. This is what you would have set up when you uh, set up your public and private key pair. Now that I'm on the, the Linux system, let's just check what services we have running from a network perspective. So I can do a netstat-antp. We only have uh, port 22 running, which is the secure shell, which is what we expect. So the first step is to update the packages. Uh, we, we're going to do this using apt-get. With Linux, you can typically type in the command with a dash H if you want to know what the command does. And here we get apt get dash H. It tells you what it does right here. It also gives you the options. So the first thing we are going to do is update. Then once we update th this Linux system with the latest packages, the new list of packages, we will do an install. So we're going to install Apache 2. There's a couple ways to do this, but this is the way we'll do it. 
since we're using Ubuntu, you typically have to use sudo to run anything. So if you just try to do apt get update, let's just try that. You notice you get an error here about operation not permitted, permission denied. This is because we're trying to run apt get as Ubuntu. In Ubuntu, that user doesn't have permissions. So we have to use sudo. If you want to figure out what sudo does, you can type sudo dash h. You can scroll up. It tells you right here, execute execute a command as another user. <clears throat> so we'll do sudo apt get update. It may take a second. Then we'll do sudo apt get install Apache 2. Yes, it's simply asking to verify that because it is going to take up some space, which is expected. Looks like it's almost done. Now let's go back and do our net stat dash ANTP. And you notice we now have a service running on port 80. That was not there before. So we can verify that's Apache by starting and stopping it. So I can go sudo service Apache to stop. Now let's hit the up arrow, netstat. Now we no longer see port 80. So hit the up arrow again. I can say sudo service Apache to start. Hit the up arrow. Now we have netstat ANTP. And it's running again. So, so far we've set up Apache. Uh, we haven't really configured it much. We just got it running. Uh, that's the whole point of this video. We're not going to set up an entire web server or web application. But we can't connect to it yet. We can try. So remember the public IP address is this right here of this instance. Yours obviously is going to be different. Let's just paste that here and see what happens. So we should not get any connection because we do not have port 80 open to that instance. So eventually this is going to time out. So let's go to the instance over here. And we need to change the security group for that instance. So this one, the one I am using is named launch wizard five. It will probably be named something different for you. So I click on this. This is what I showed you earlier. The only port allowed inbound right now is port 22. So we need to open this up for port 80. We see this timed out. This was going to port 80. So click on edit here. And a lot of people, they just edit the rule that pops up right there. But if you edit that rule, you're overriding that overwriting that rule. So you need to add a new rule. This is going to be HTTP, which defaults to port 80. And we can configure this from any uh, anywhere. Or you can lock it down to only allow port 22 or port 80 from specific subnets. This right here is IPv6, so we're allowing IPv4 and IPv6, we can just restrict it to IPv4 if we want to. So that's pretty much all we need to add. Uh, I'll just say, make a note here for the description, Apache port 80, save. And now we have three rules. One is for the IP v4 for http and one is for the ipv6 for http now if i go back over here and hit enter this should work let's try it and there we go so we're able to connect to the ubuntu default page because we haven't set anything up we just added ubuntu and opened the firewall so we can connect to it the next step would be to obviously configure the web server. You don't want to leave it like this. So if we go back to our PuTTY instance, 
and look at our net stat, we should see a connection uh, on port 80, which is right here, from the outside, which is this IP address of the um, system I'm on. So it looks like this is working and we can verify that. I can open up another browser and connect to that IP address. And we should get, just paste it there. So now we have two connections. If we go back to Putty, Netstat, we should see a couple connections here. So those are our sessions. And if we can also verify that on our Windows host, if we uh, do a netstat-an, we can uh, verify that there as well. But anyway, um, we have it working. So in this video, that's really all, all I wanted to show you was how to launch an instance, connect to it via PuTTY, set up Apache, and then open the firewall to allow us to connect to Apache. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I hope you found the video useful and have a good, good one. Thanks. See ya.